What's up winners? On this channel we learn to see through manipulation, have fun doing it. This is Vintage Megan, though it happened just recently, but it's the classic Megan bragging, saying ridiculous nonsense. It starts off immediately and then gets I even worse. I find that in whatever travels I've done, regardless of this or another country around the world, often bragging. women reach the peak of bragging. success, they leave. But you need to come back home. You need to at least be a familiar face for the next generation. Uh, first of all, bragging, bragging, bragging. Like, it's ridiculous. Oh, when I'm traveling, whether here or elsewhere, it's just so transparent. Imagine if you're hanging out with someone like that. You're at like a cocktail party. Well, when I was last traveling, and sometimes I go elsewhere, you're super annoying, typical Megan. But then when she's saying these women don't come back home, she's framing it like, first of all, she's born and raised in Nigeria and she comes home. This is wrong on both levels. She goes there for PR tours. She was not raised there. She has basically no connection to the country other than claiming she has a DNA test saying she has some ancestry there. Whatever. Finally, she comes there for a two-day PR tour, three-day PR tour. That is not like being a familiar face. That's not giving back. That's a PR tour. We'll, you see her running around grabbing kids. Have you seen that one? She's like, get that over here, kid. And yeah. to say, oh, she looks like me, and I can be that. And I think that is a really key piece in all of it. Does Megan look like these Nigerian women? I don't think so. Where success isn't defined by, oh, you've gotten out, you've gone somewhere else. It's defined by, and you still always want to come back home. Because that's how you're going to help shift. Shut up! You, what are you talking about? Like, it's so annoying. Like, you don't know what you're talking about. What does this have to do with anything? Why are you preaching? You didn't come from some poor background and go back home. You came from a well-off background and then kicked your family down the stairs. How ironic is this, right? She literally betrayed her family, threw everything away from her past, betrayed everyone she ever knew. She did the exact opposite and she came from a privileged background. Ridiculous, even if it weren't for that. It's like, what are you talking about? She has no limit to her ability to just preach and brag and talk about things that she has no business talking about, no experience with, or does the opposite. Any sort of generational pattern that might be stifling, especially for young girls who need to see someone who looks like them Gosh. in that same position of power. Don't power you, but you have I love this person. Don't mean to interrupt you, but we need to get back on track and you need to be quiet. Also, just the, the sentiment I think is bad and I think it's damaging. I know it's really popular now, but for me, I'll learn from everybody. And some of these buzzword bandits like, oh, you're, look at you, you blah, blah, blah. No, like anyone can learn from anybody. And I think one is crippling themselves. Like I only can learn from people who look like me, right? Like it's not a good way to go about things, right? You want to learn from everybody in my opinion. That's the biggest advantage. It's a disadvantage. Come back home. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but let's get out of here. Anyways, thanks for watching. See y'all soon.